Well, and then in 1995, you were in uh, Ace Ventura when Nature mm-hmm. Calls. Mm-hmm. Another, First movie I had to audition for. Well, because you had already done everything with uh, Jim Carrey all those years. Audition hey, for what? Yeah, yeah. I he mean, knows who just, you are. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it, 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 it's yeah, you know, I had to audition for every, you know, all the black project projects. Right. This was the first time that no one put me through that. He called me. I said, I got something for you. I got something for you, man. Yeah. yeah. It was it was really a breath of fresh air for me because you got to understand, you know, I came into this world, you know, between black and white, you know, and I was extremely, I was, I, I, I'm, I'm extremely sensitive about that. So, you know, when I'm mis when when I'm not appreciated or not valued by blacks, it hurts me more because of what I went through. Mm. You know what I mean? I take it more personal because my whole core is about color, you know? And as a black man, which I definitely am, and I paid the price of admission for that. It and 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 since I understand exactly how society works when it comes to the African American, and guess who taught me that? Who's that? My mom taught me that, man. Who's white? Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. told me out of the out of the when I was out there thieving. Okay, and my brother taught me that too. My brother used to say to me, why do you want to be negative? Why do you want to be doing negative things? This is why I'm a white brother, right? I didn't know the difference between positive and negative. So I said, well, what do you mean negative? He said, well, well, negative is kicking over trash cans, taking stuff that you don't belong, beating up people. He said, that's negative. He said, positive is helping people, doing something that's good for you, you know, having a good time, you know, and enjoying the life around you, you know? And so I wanted to keep doing those negative things because I equated those negative things with being black because I wanted to be that so bad, right? Because I was, obviously, right? So what is this thing about? I I need to be down. You know, Aaliyah had that. Was it Aaliyah? Uh, No, that was Brandy. I want to be down. Brandy. I want to be down. You know, you got to be down. You got to be down with the brothers or whatever, right? So that was my my initiation into what I thought that was. And ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's a it's embraced. That period, that social period that 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 um ethnic groups go through in this country is like a badge of honor, right? Mm-hmm. But it's not worn on us like that. You know, you look at the Godfather and it's like it's cool to be that guy. It's cool to be those guys, man. Mm -hmm. You look at The Departed, it's cool to be those guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro, brothers in the hood, I mean, the boys in the hood and all that. You know, it's cool and everything, but that's still playing out right now. That was back in the freaking 40s when they were doing that stuff. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm caught up in this thing, you know, where I'm trying to be this, this, this thing. And so when my mom found that gun and found that money and found that stuff and said, you got to get out of this house, she taught me some fundamental things about who I was as a black man and a black person. She said, you can't stay in this house based on what you're doing. One, this had nothing to do with black and white. This had to do with people. One, you're taken from people that live right where you are, that have exactly what you have. Okay. She said, there's only three ways to make a living in this world, okay? She said, you can work for it. That's me and your grandfather and our family and people like us. I ain't got nothing to do with color, right? The second way is you can take it from other people, okay? You can do that. It's not that safe. You might not live through it. You always got to keep your eyes to them, but you can do it. And then the third, she said, but the third way to make a living is to inherit it. And from the people that you come from, you haven't inherited anything in this country. You haven't inherited any wealth. You haven't inherited any industry. 
You have an inherent technology. You have no natural resources. You don't have a land base. You don't have a continent that you can go back to. So you're in the worst position. You're the main person that needs to take a look at the situation and make the right decision. You know, and it and it and it fed into when me and my sister used to go to school. See, she taught me these things. We would go to school, and when we get there late, we had to go to detention, right? So finally, she she noticed that I was being sent to detention, and my sister wasn't. So here she come again, right? My mother show up, it'd be some trouble. She called a meeting with the principal. And me and my sister, right, go to that school. I want to talk to y'all. You know, she just said, you want to talk to somebody. You start feeling some shit, right? She sits in front of that um, principal. She said, so what's the problem here? He goes, what problem? You know, when my children are late, you're sending them to detention, but you're only sending my son is the only one that has to do detention. My daughter, you're sending her straight to class. What's up with that? And he was like, well, you know, I didn't, first of all, I didn't know that it was your son. She said, that shouldn't make a difference. That should make a difference. This is my son and my daughter. You're sending my daughter to class and my son to detention. It was a black principal, right? So, well, you know, I, I don't, you know, she said, I'll finish your sentence for you. It's because he's black and, and you should be ashamed of yourself because you black doing it in the first place. You know, she said, I don't appreciate that. Can you even the score with that? He said, yes, I can do that, Miss Davidson. <laughs> and she pulled me out of school that day. Yeah. Oh, man, I get emotional to this day. She pulled me out of school, boy. She she talks to me. My mother talks to me all the time. Man, she took me. I get emotional because miss her. In this world, you know, how it is, you know. She pulled me to the side. We found a picnic bench, you know. She told me. She said, you know what? She said, if you want to get ahead in life and you want to do the things that you want to do, she said, you can't be late. But she said, I want you to know something. Your sister can. Mm. Cause she's white and a female. She didn't say that. She just told me, you know what I mean? But your sister can. She leave it up to you to, you know? Man, that was like, <clears throat> that, 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 that shot through me, man. You know? And so from that point on, you know, from that point on, I started seeing that, um, you know, we all, from where we're from, whatever culture we're from, whether it's East, East, Eastern Europe or it's, it's East India, you know, if you're Indian from, if you're native from here or you're, you're, you're the Indian that was supposed to be an Indian because uh, uh, Columbus was lost, okay? Um, no matter what, you know, we're on ground level. This is this is uh, ground zero for everyone, you know, and counting, right? Click, 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 click. What time is it? And, you know, how long are we going to be here? What are we going to do with it? You know what I mean? What I'm going to do with it is just to understand who I am and just to do the best I can with the time. You know what I mean? And so, you know, this is an opportunity to do that. And... um I'm getting old, so I forgot what I was talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about, you know? And I had to come to grips with, with who I really was, and, and it's because I did that, you know? It's because I was blessed enough to have that information around me, you know, is the reason why I do what I do now, you know? It, this is more than just a job to me anymore, you know? But it is a job. Yeah. You know, I'm like you. I'm like us, you know, once you get this bug out here and you see, once you come out here and you, and you go for whatever it is, if you, even if you go, if, even if you want to be a freaking dairy farmer and you go to Wisconsin, you know what I mean? You'll start to find out, you know, you'll start to find out and know who you really are. You yeah. know what I mean? And so that's what it boils down to for me.